There's no shortage. I would say an aberration. What it means is that you expect to get something, and because of you don't have money, you can't, you can't, you can't get it. And you say it's a shortage. It's available. It depends on the station that you go. If you go to the station, you don't get it. You talk to the OMC and let them direct you where you're supposed to go. You see, the thing is, we have we have 4,000 outlets. And not every OMC has go away with that to buy the fuel. You agree with me that diesel is very expensive nowadays. And you buy diesel that quantity and put it in your station and you're not getting somebody to buy or purchase. You are at risk. So And you cannot buy them in small quantities, because that becomes yeah. very expensive. Yeah, so you may have one of the main outlets that you fuel, so that you expect people to go there. It's not everything that you can control, because we are we are the net exporter and uh, importer of fuel. We don't have control in the world market, so you have to take the price as it is. So taking the price is for you, the consumer. It's like you want kinky. You don't can you manufacture kinky. You can't manufacture kinky. You go out the market. What is there? What you buy? And you only haggle on it and see what you can get from it. You can't influence anything. There's not going to be any decrease. Or definitely, it's not. Nobody likes that. Even if you as an individual and price continue, we wake up one morning, price is going up. We don't like it. Let alone an organization like us. We don't like it. We don't like it. But there's little that we can do to influence. We only have to manage the outcome. Okay, manage the outcome is is either we hedge or find some money and buy a lot and put it somewhere and we try to use as a friendly company.